Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can connect your remote Windows desktop on your MacBook. First of all, we need the right application. So we will go to the App Store. And here I will search for Microsoft Remote Desktop. So you will find this result at the top which says Microsoft Remote Desktop. I will click on this and you can see it's coming from Microsoft Corporation. So we will go ahead and hit get install. It's asking for the authentication. I will use the touch ID and yeah. So now we can see the button reads like open. So here we will click open. It says help us make us experience better. I will go not now. We need to request access to your microphone and camera. So we have no other option. Click continue. Now we need to click OK here. Cool. Let me minimize. And this is what Microsoft Remote Desktop look like. So here I haven't add any Windows Desktop. So let's go and click Add PC. N you will get a new pop-up which says PC name. In this you will enter um, your host name or IP address. So for this particular video I'm going to enter a test IP address which is nothing but uh, Google public IP address but uh, in your case you will enter the real one the next is user account so here you can go ahead and add an account add user account you will need to enter the username let's say test and uh, the password let's say test1234 and also you can add a friendly name I will say um, educators test user and you can configure the general settings or the display settings device audio or folder here and display you can see um, you can toggle use all monitors or you want to toggle start session in full screen or not um, color quality etc so rest things looks fine you can go ahead and click add and now you can see a nice small card here which says your IP address and your friendly name now we need to go ahead and right click and simply connect it will try to connect to this IP address which is obviously is not a valid remote desktop IP address so it, it's going to say uh, failed but if you enter the correct one definitely it will go full screen or black screen saying connecting and uh, you will see your um, desktop logged in so here you can see as expected it's unable to connect close one more thing you can do uh, let's suppose if you enter the wrong IP address unintentionally you can edit it by simply clicking on this edit button and here you can change your IP address to the correct one hit save now you know how you can connect your remote Windows desktop on your Mac that's all for this video I hope you learned something new give this video a like share with your friends and do subscribe to educators thank you